Senator, with your national security background, I wonder what you make of this sort of wrangling that's happening now between the White House and John Bolton. There's this fight that you're involved in, that all the senators are involved in, about whether or not he's going to testify. What emerged today is that the White House has advised him, essentially, that he can't publish his book because they consider large swaths of it to be classified information. Uh, Senator, or Mr. Bolton's uh, attorney has written back and said, well, you know, A, that's not true, but B, let's talk specifically about the Ukraine chapter in his book. We know there is no classified information there. Please clear him to talk about it. What, what do you make of that in terms of that being the grounds on which the White House is apparently trying to bottle this up? Well, you know, Rachel, I think that's flimsy ground. I, I think that's you, you um, pointed right out to the, uh, the issue at hand, which is they can say you can't put these particular things that are classified in the uh, in the manuscript. But all of the other stuff can certainly be released. Um, and so they're really just, again, trying to play this show game where they're hiding the truth from, from the American people. Um, and frankly, they never actually answered straight the, the question as to when did, they, did the White House find out about the, the uh, manuscript? And has anybody told any of the folks in the White House uh, what's in the manuscript and when they learned about it? They, they spoke um, and, and answered that question in a very careful way and then sort of talked around um, uh, the question when they were asked who in the White House knew about the manuscript when were you told what was in the manuscript and uh, how long have you known Senator, one last question for you about um, the argument made by Alan Dershowitz today on the president's behalf. We've been discussing amongst ourselves how much it struck us that he was essentially arguing that as long as the president is doing something because he wants to get reelected, um, he can't be held criminally liable for anything that he does. He also can't be impeached for anything he does because simply having the motive to try to help himself in his next election is enough to give him immunity from any sort of recourse. Uh, it struck us as, as, as a group. I think as as bizarre um, and as something that must have rung strangely in the room. How did how did how was that received in the room? It was not received well at all, Rachel, both with those who are attorneys and those like me who are just lay people. Um, I think it doesn't pass a common sense test. If you said to the American people, you know, the president says that um, he can uh, ask foreign nations to interfere in our election, but because uh, he believes that him winning the election is good for the American people, what he's asking for is really what he's asking for something good to be done for the American people, so you, he can't do anything wrong. That doesn't even make sense. I mean, it, it, it's circuitous logic at best, but but, but, you know, even for the common layperson like myself, it's like, what? I, that doesn't mean, <laughs> does that mean that no president can do anything wrong in an election year? As long as he says it's because he believes that his winning the election is good for the American people. I mean, that, that sounds like something coming out of North Korea, not not Pennsylvania Avenue. Senator Tammy Duckworth, member of the Armed Services Committee, on her way back into the chamber now. Senator, thanks for making time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.